Do you think I look like Flash's long lost sister to you? <laughs> yes, guys, Elf has done it again. I'm always in search for good skincare and makeup products that are very complementary to oily skin, to sensitive skin. I'm trying to find makeup products that are healthier and cruelty free vegan always trying to find those types of products for you and today it's all about elf i love elf because i love an underdog this one dollar makeup product you know from a long time ago is now getting more and more noticed and i feel like they're more ahead of the game than most high-end products all of their products are cruelty free paraben free and 100 percent vegan so wow you know not all products can say that it's great that you know more and more makeup products are actually moving towards healthier no harsh chemical line of makeup but elf is already there happy for elf that they're at that stage in their makeup game um, so today we are comparing the elf camo concealer to the elf hydrating concealer when i first looked at the elf concealer i knew i was going to get the mattifying concealer this one the one with the black cap is actually full coverage you know it's a mattifying primer great for normal to oily skin types and so i knew i was gonna love this but i was wrong it's not good for my oily skin for my acne prone skin i actually have a review where i put elf and ColourPop head to head with one another and ColourPop won because this elf camo concealer was really very drying very mattifying and at the time when i was testing this i had really bad acne so I thought that maybe my skin just needed to be in a better place. That's why this product wasn't working for me. But last couple of weeks, I've been testing these two concealers side by side. And I've had good, actually great skin days in the past two weeks or so. It just kind of confirmed that this e.l.f. camo concealer is really not my jam. And I'll tell you why in a bit. But you can also watch my previous video. I'll put it up in the cards here. Um, about why this did not work for me. I was kind of skeptical because hydrating, no, it's not meant for oily skin types and I don't wanna be glowy or showy. I just knew I was gonna be an oily mess with any type of hydrating concealer, but let me tell you, let me tell you. First, let's just compare e.l.f. This is the camo concealer and we'll call this the hydrating concealer and they're both $6. And I'll put up in the screen kind of a side-by-side -side comparison from the e.l.f. website. They're both full coverage. The mattifying concealer has one more shade than the hydrating concealer, which is interesting. So there's 25 to 26 shades between these two concealers, which is not a bad shade range in my opinion. They both have a large doe foot applicator. They have the same look actually so you can see that here this one right here this is the hydrating one with a white cap it also have this giant doe foot applicator right there this one the black one the camo concealer is for normal to oily skin types and according to elf the hydrating one is for normal to dry skin types one has a finish of a satin finish and the other one is a matte finish elf camo concealer dries pretty quickly while the hydrating one there's time to play according to them which means you have more time to blend and you're not such in a rush and i'll tell you more about that the wear time for the camo is 16 hours while the hydrating one is actually all day which is amazing that's a pretty strong claim right there and so um, i'll let you know if that's true in a bit the elf camo concealer dries darker that's so true in my previous review you can see the oxidation happening even while i was taping um you know the swatches on my hand just turned to an awkward color and this one dries to the actual color in the bottle this camo concealer um the one in the black tube is a little bit lighter than the hydrating concealer because this one actually darkens and oxidizes more this one dries down to more of a true color in the bottle so, so let's talk about these two i have worn these all day long for the past i want to say two weeks where i just kind of put them side by side and i'll show you a screenshot of um you know the results as i go through them throughout the day elf 
camo concealer. It's pretty drying, even for my oily skin type, which is interesting because for someone with oily skin, you want one that's more mattifying. That way you don't get oily throughout the day, but it's drying for me. It starts to break apart. Um, and I've tried using this with several types of foundation the same way with this one and it just looks very crusty around acne areas so this is not good for acne prone skin it's gonna peel up on you it's gonna accumulate in parts around your acne area where you don't want to and also it doesn't play well with a lot of makeup products I have used these two with a variety of makeup products this one is very selective as far as what types of products it wants to play with or um, you know combine with so I don't want to have that restriction you know I want to be able to wear the type of makeup the type of foundation skincare products underneath it and be okay with it so there's a lot of cons with this concealer for me as far as an oily skin type kind of gal and also it's very heavy on the under eyes it accentuates the lines my smile lines you know when I smile I normally don't show right here the little lines and it actually shows it I don't know if you can tell like right now let me let me just show you my bags real quick <laughs> but yeah you can see little lines accumulating and that's usually not the case on this one you'll just see like one giant eye bag but you don't see tiny lines creasing there by the way on my face right now the right side is the elf and so wherever this is that's where the elf camo concealer is and the hydrating one is on the left side as you can see even though they're two different colors on the bottle they still look and blend out very similarly on the skin because this one oxidizes a lot more did I tell you it's accentuating pores and I have a picture of that without a primer you see those little holes literally around this nose area right here so overall not my favorite let's go to the hydrating one okay it's really caught me off guard I have to say I like this more a little bit more than the color pop concealer because this is full coverage guys this is um, a lot creamier there was a time when I put the concealer side by side and I was working on the hydrating one I forgot that I should have blended this first because it actually has a very fast dry time and so what happened was it created like a, a blotchy hard to blend spot on my face um, because it just kind of cemented itself there and I couldn't blend it no matter what I did but this one you have some time to play you can blend this easily it blends nicely it's creamy it's not a dewy finish I like that it said it's a satin finish definitely so somewhere between a more hydrating concealer and a mattifying concealer is that satin finish and so I love it and it doesn't break apart it fills in my pores it makes my pores look a lot better and as you can see with the picture I'll probably show it again but the picture with the hydrating one really helps you know conceal those pores and helps you get a smoother finish as I showed you right now it doesn't crease um, sometimes I would have smile lines right here and this is a lot deeper using the elf camo concealer you would see the smile lines a lot more throughout the day than this side so it's bendable I like to call concealers that move with the shape of your skin more bendable you can make all the different face shapes and expressions on your face and the concealer will accommodate those movements on your face without creasing without crusting up you know or accumulating in one spot so that's what i love about the hydrating one it plays well with other products so i've used this with different types of skincare bb cream cc creams foundations lightweight foundations heavy foundations drugstore foundations um expensive foundations and i didn't have any problem with this at all um i especially love the coverage i feel like it's not 100 percent full coverage but it's there it is definitely very close um i don't mind it i think sharp sharp tape shape <laughs> tart shape tape is a lot 
more full coverage, but you know, this is good enough. I mean, who wants to wear full coverage every single day anyway, right? That's not gonna be good for your skin. And so I love this a lot. How many times did I say I love this a lot already? Yeah, this is the foundation for 2020. This is gonna be the go-to foundation, especially the go-to affordable drugstore foundation. Um, yeah. I could not find anything wrong with it, honestly. Lasting power, I wanna say, I wanna say good six hours, and then maybe this one, it starts cresting up after the fourth hour mark, and depending on the product you use, it could even just break apart almost immediately. It's very drying, very flaky, but the hydrating one is a lot more flexible, and it lasts way longer on the skin you know the claim is 24 hours wow versus this one is 16 hours which you would think a mattifying concealer would actually last longer than a hydrating one but it's not so the coverage is amazing it hides my blemishes well um like this one right here right now that you can kind of see but kind of can't I, I used the elf hydrating one because i knew this one was gonna just start accumulating and crusting up on top of the acne you know what it's really a toss up it just really depends on your skin type and what your skin concerns are when it comes to choosing these two concealers but you know hydrating or not this is great for oily to acne prone to combination skin types so i highly recommend this concealer guys great brand great amazing product so if you need an affordable concealer go to the drugstore and find yourself an elf concealer the hydrating one the one with the white cap that's the way to go um, if you have normal to dry skin this would be great for you so overall it's great for all skin types so who won i think it's pretty obvious right this elf hydrating concealer is the way to go but i'm gonna have to pass on this one i think if you have oily skin but really nice skin like you're not too acne prone you could get away with it by the time you see this video i am gonna be you know a year older and i think that this one is much better for mature skin that is it guys that's my review for elf camo versus elf hydrating concealer and as a bonus get yourself one of these beauty sponge it's dirty now but it's normally a white <laughs> beauty sponge from elf this is i think six dollars as well it's so bouncy and soft um i just i i can't from the moment i took it out of the package and i squeezed it dry i knew this was going to be a great beauty sponge and it was it's definitely comparable to the beauty blender so why not get this right a lot cheaper i think a quarter of the price so that is it guys that is my review for the elf hydrating hydrating concealer does it work for oily skin types yes does it work for acne skin types yes if you like this video or learned something please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i post videos once a week on makeup reviews and skincare reviews so please check it out hang out with me a while longer join the family um and as always i'll see you back in my corner soon bye